September is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. This illness has impacted thousands of families, but through education and awareness, we can all help prevent the unnecessary loss of a loved one. Fox 2's Michaela McGee spoke with the local mental health organization on the resources that are available right here in our community. Depression and suicide are real challenges that many children and adults face daily. Marion McCord lost her son to suicide 15 years ago, but has been using his story and their experience to help other families who are struggling in our community. I lost my son to suicide, and he, like many kids, was a cream of the crop student and not on the radar. And I, like most parents, thought it's never going to happen in my family. Chad McCord was an honor student nationally recognized runner and a proud Boy Scout with a lot of friends who also secretly struggled with depression and thoughts of suicide. And so he was the poster child of success uh, on the outside, but he was also used to being the best of the best in everything he did. And when depression hit him, it was really hard for him to beat it. Marion McCord and her husband started Chad's Coalition for Mental Health to help other children and families who are finding themselves fighting the same battles as they did 15 years ago. When mental illness hit our home and hit it with a vengeance, we had no idea where to turn or what to do. And um, just trying to catch those kids like Chad that struggle in silence. Suicide is reported in Missouri to be the ninth leading cause of death in adults and the second leading cause in children. Marion says social isolation from the pandemic can be triggering children in ways parents cannot see. Suicide can happen to any child, rich or poor, black or white, rural or in the city. Um, there's no barriers to this illness. Every one of us need to learn what are the warning signs, what do I need to do when I recognize those warning signs, and connect them to mental health professionals in our community. If you or a loved one are dealing with depression or thoughts of suicide, there are resources in our community, like Chad's Coalition, who are ready and willing to help. You can visit our website at fox2now.com for more information. Michaela McGee reporting.